yeah, great, obviously, great win. Um, it's fun seeing the colleague like that. It's, it's up there at that press conference, you know, almost, almost 12 months ago. And uh, kind of just uh, imagining that, and, and these guys have brought it to life. And uh, I don't know how long it's been since it was like that. I haven't been here before, but man, it was, it was a right to compare. That's, uh, Kind of what I remember watching as a young kid, and uh, to, to see the colleague like that, see our team playing the way we did, all three sides, uh, we played really well, all three sides of the ball. Defensively, uh, honestly, kind of got sick and tired of uh, you know hearing how how well you know we were just going to get pounded in the run game. Uh, that didn't happen. I'm uh, really proud of the way we stopped the run, tackled, caused the turnovers, made big plays, played really well defensively. Uh, Offensively made enough plays, certainly to, to win it. Had some tough, gritty plays against a, a very good defense. And uh, and then obviously special teams, some huge plays on the night. So proud of the guys, proud of the way we finished, separating from a really a really good football team that had been on, you know, the last several weeks have been on a really good run, had a lot of momentum coming in here. Uh, so I told the guys locker room, I mean, we've, you know, it's been a tremendous run, but we're, you know, there's obviously a lot more left out there for us. So we're, we're excited about this as, as we should be, and, and uh, but we got we got a quick week where we're playing a conference championship game here in six days. So we got to we got to enjoy it, but put it to bed here quickly and get ready to uh, head to Vegas. Lincoln, congratulations once again on the win. I want to stick with the defense, like you mentioned. Um, the defense has not been used to uh, criticism, but the run game, as you mentioned, and even the secondary making some really good big plays. What's the biggest thing that stuck out to you? I mean, you know, it's football. Like you're going to go through a whole season. I mean, there's been there's been periods where you you know criticize any part of our team, but there's also been moments of greatness from all parts. And um, the reality is, we're not sitting here 11 and one without our defense, and uh, it's just we wouldn't be here. And you can everybody just kind of remembers the the previous week or what happened. There, there's been a lot go in this game or a lot go into the season, and our defense has been. Has made some big time plays and big time moments, and and really has for the majority of the year. And uh, I mean, we wouldn't be sitting here at all without without them. So phenomenal job tonight. Just a really physical line of scrimmage. Uh, we did a good job not letting them get out very often at all in the run game. We got pressure on the quarterback. Made some competitive plays in the throw game. Obviously, the pick. Um, just played a really played a pretty complete football game defensively. And. Uh, we, 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 we've talked to our guys a lot about the gap of where we're at versus what we're capable of, and, and we took some steps to close that gap tonight. Caleb, you haven't said much about the Heisman Trophy in the early up to the season or during the season. You struck the forward a couple of times tonight. How are you feeling about the championship? <laughs> Ooh, that's a little loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I honestly struck it because a bunch of my teammates were saying do it. Um, <laughs> I normally don't, after I score, I normally just kind of don't do anything. Um, and so they told me to, to do it. Um, they kept saying it, so I just ended up doing it in the moment. Um, but like I was saying, we got a short week, um, and whoever we have, uh, we're coming for. So um, that's our next one. Uh, but we, we have goals in mind that we want to reach. Caleb, how have you grown over the course of the season, as far as the growth of the season? What specifically have you seen this team grow in what area? Yeah, we, we do a <clears throat> ways that we've grown. Um, start off with the team is, is having each other's back. Um, I mean, you can go from, from first week to, to now. Um, our last week of, you know, offense goes down um, and, and, and defense is, is right there to, to punch back. Defense and special teams right there to punch back. Um, defense goes down. Offense and special teams right there to punch back. Um, special teams not doing so well. We got defense and offense to, to pick up for each other. Um, and, and we we got a gritty team. Um, and, and and we know our we know our our identity. Um, and we're 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 not we're not shying away from it. Uh, we're we're attacking it. We know who we are, and we're gonna play like that every every game that we every game that we get. So um, and then myself, I don't know. I've been. I've been trying to lead more. Um, there's there's been times throughout games, um, practice where where I'm not leading to the to ability uh, to my ability, and um, I've, I've for sure been trying to pick that up um, here in the, the later part of the, the year. Caleb, you were extending a lot of plays today with your legs and also your field vision, but especially when you're scrambling, so good. Can you talk to us a little bit about that field vision when you're on the run? 
My dad, um, my dad from when I was younger, um, and when I first started playing quarterback, um, to now we coach, uh, we, we have a role of, you know, take what's in front of you, and then if it's not there, uh, scan the field. Um, and it also reminds me, reminds me that I'm a little bit athletic, so sometimes take off. Um, um, so that's the that's the that's the, the main things that that I get. Um, and my dad always talks about it: take off, take off, take off. Um, and so, um, extended plays um, is a part of football, and um, you know, the play doesn't stop until the whistle blows. So uh, we keep going. Um, like I said, we got a gritty team, and we keep fighting um, throughout the how many ever seconds the play is going to take. Um, the defense does the same thing. Oh, my dad. Yeah, he tries to he tries to say he was more athletic than me when when he was my age, but not at all. I have no film of him. And Kelly, you, there was a, a handful of teams that were ahead of you that lost today. Yep. Do you feel like you showed that your team is as good as any team in the country, and you are right in the midst of the title? Um, I think we're as good as any team, um, and it doesn't. I'm not just talking about today. Um, from from spring ball to, to summer workouts and things like that. I thought we were going to be a great team. Um, you know, the outside world, we talked about this, is that the outside world is going to say what they have to say. Um, and, and we're letting them win right now. Um, so obviously it doesn't matter. Um, and, and we thought we were a great team, like I said, and uh, we've shown it. Um, and, and whatever happens is what's going to happen, but we got a game this week that we got to focus on. For either Caleb or, or Lincoln. How physically you guys play on defense? Uh, very proud of the defense. Uh, we knew what type of game it was going to be. We knew they was going to try to come in here and thought they was going to physical us, but we wasn't going for that. Yeah. For either you guys, there's a Monday marks one year since you took this job. Did you think back then as when you inherited this roster you'd have to turn around and do this fast? I didn't think yes or no. Like, I just, you just, it's like right now. Like, you just go to work and you just, Start putting it together as fast as you can, and start building the culture as fast as you can. And I, I, I can't say like yes, I knew this was going to happen, but at the same time, like I, I don't believe in putting limits on what you can accomplish, especially if you get the right people in the building and everybody decides to be unselfish and work hard for each other. And that's what this group's done, and they're a great example of when you do that. Like the worst thing you could ever do is put limits on what you can accomplish. So I, when you guys knew me, I, I, I stood right by. But I told you our expectations were from day one. A lot of people thought I was crazy, and that's fine. The people in, within the walls knew what we were about and kind of, I think, had a sense of what we were building, and that's been a, that's been a fun run. For Caleb or Lincoln, there's a, another Pac-12 rivalry game going on right now that will decide your opponent on Friday. But you guys have been talking about revenge tour and get back for some of the guys here last year. So with that in mind, would you like to get Utah again? Would you like to have a shot to, to play him again on a neutral field? Whoever we yeah. 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 It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, we just want, we just, we're excited to be in that game. You, you, it's a ring game. You know, those are hard to get to, and they're fun. You know, I've had a chance to be in a couple of them. They're a lot of fun. I'm glad our team gets a shot. So whoever it is, we, we know it's going to be, obviously, so whoever qualifies for it, it's pretty darn good, too, right? Like that's, they got there, too. So we'll uh, we'll get ready to go play a big game. Thank you. Do any of Caleb's scramble plays surprise you anymore? Um, I mean, I've obviously seen him do it a lot, but he's, uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm proud of the decisions that he's making, uh, other than one tonight. But uh, um, I'm, yeah, that one. Oh, he got sacked. Oh, yeah, Thirty yard 20. loss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we'll get to that tomorrow, I guess. But, um, no, um, Ed is impressive. I mean, the escapability, the ability to get out of tackles, and also kind of the combination of quickness with it. And then again, I mean, I think there's just a trust there because, you know. A high percentage of the time, he makes the right play on it, and, and uh, has made obviously a lot of big plays in that scenario for us. Same thing I said last week. Like no surprises. Like ask these two. These guys ain't surprised by what Austin does. Like Travis and Austin were one A and one B, and we're very fortunate to have some some really good backs in there. And Austin has stepped up, and boy, he ran physical tonight. I mean. You talk about establishing the run game. I mean, that, that to me was a game. And honestly, I mean, the turnovers, um, you know, they're a really good special teams unit. And we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them uh, in every part of special teams, all the phases. Um, and uh, and then, I mean, we 
dominated in the run game. You know, played really good in the run game uh, offensively, and we did a really nice job limiting their run game defensively. I mean, that was the game. What game would we give up on? What's that? Hopefully, we don't have to punt anymore. <laughs> um, I have the longest punt of the season, though. That was a good punt. <laughs> yeah, that was a good punt. Caleb, you talked about leadership. What does leadership mean to you? Uh, it means everything. Uh, you always, when you have a, a lot of guys that we all have one goal, um, let's put it this way. Last year I came from a team that um, we got to certain parts of the season and uh, we, we finished pretty well. Um, but most of the guys here, even a bunch of the transfers, didn't know what this feeling was. Or, or what this feels like, um, getting to the latter part of the season and, and being in a position to where you can go and do something bigger or something that you always dreamed of as a, as a child and being a part of. And so um, just, just kind of bringing that and understanding that that the time is right now. Um, and we got a, we got a big leader, leadership group. Caitlin's a part of it. We got like 20, 20, of, our, 20 of our players that uh, we call it the leadership council inside of our, inside of our lives. And so um, we got a bunch of leaders in this team. Um, and, and one of the biggest things that we that we talked about when we first got here is is, is great teams um, that players lead, good teams and coaches lead, average teams nobody leads. Um, and so that's what we've been trying to do since we've been here um, is, is have the, the guys, uh, the players step up because, uh, like I said, those are the great teams. And they've done that. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Justin.